Hey everyone, this is Zach with 8020 Media here today with a video of signs and symptoms of a failing fuel pump. The fuel pump is an essential component for moving fuel, gasoline, or diesel fuel from the gas tank to the engine. And so it's essential in maintaining proper pressures and proper fuel flow into the engine. So any signs and symptoms of fuel pump failure really boil down to the fuel pump not sending the correct amount of fuel to the engine, struggling to keep up with the fuel flow requirements, or simply not flowing any fuel at all. So ultimately, a lot of the signs and symptoms we discuss boil down to a lack of fuel flow, and that's really the biggest thing that, that tends to occur when you do have a fuel pump failure, is that it just starts sending too little fuel or inconsistent fuel flow. That said, let's go ahead and jump in and discuss some of the most common signs and symptoms of a faulty or failing fuel pump. So at number one, we have sputtering, hesitation, and surging. So again, really a fuel pump failure often boils down to that lack of fuel flow or inconsistent fuel flow. And so as that fuel flow is inconsistently making it to the engine, that's why you can notice that sputtering, surging, and hesitation. You have those brief moments where you may be getting proper fuel flow and then suddenly a moment later, the fuel flow cuts off a little bit or you're lacking the proper pressure. And so that's what ultimately leads to, again, the surging hesitation, stuttering, sputtering, anything like that. If, if you're noticing that weird feeling can certainly be a sign that your fuel pump is on its way out and delivering inconsistent or improper fuel flow to the engine and the fuel injectors. Moving on to symptom number two of fuel pump failure, this ties into number one a little bit. At number two here, we have power loss. If your engine isn't receiving enough fuel, then you won't have full power available. You just don't have enough fuel in the engine to maintain proper air fuel ratios and result in a full powerful combustion process. Ultimately, power loss often happens when you have a, a faulty fuel pump or a failing fuel pump. It's usually most noticeable during heavier throttle applications if you're really trying to get on the pedal a bit more aggressively to say merge onto the freeway or whatever you need the power for, that's when you'll tend to notice this power loss symptom the most. Because again, as the fuel pump's failing, it's just not able to keep up with the fuel flow demands. And of course, the more throttle you apply, the more demanding the fuel flow requirements for the engine. And that's where the fuel pump is just really going to struggle to keep up with those demands. So that's where you'll really notice the biggest power loss issues, again, is, is typically during heavier throttle applications. Moving on to symptom number three, we have misfires and a check engine light combining those into one symptom here. Ultimately, when you have inconsistent fuel flow or a lack of fuel flow going into the engine, the engine won't be able to maintain proper air fuel ratios, which can ultimately result in a misfire or an improper combustion. Often when the engine detects a misfire, it will trigger the check engine light. On a lot of cars, the check engine light will just flash a couple times indicating the misfire, and it will then store a code in the computer, which you can read with an OBD2 scanner, and see that the engine is misfiring. Now, when you have a faulty fuel pump, it's pretty common for the misfires to be on multiple cylinders and not just one specific cylinder. And the reason for that is in most cars, you have one single fuel pump that's sending the fuel to all of the fuel injectors, whether that be four in a four cylinder engine, eight in a V8, so on and so forth. And so that's why when you have that lack of fuel flow, this is something that affects the engine as a whole and all of the cylinders. So typically if you are running into misfire issues, it'll be multiple cylinders and bouncing around, not just something that stays on only one cylinder. So that's something to look for. And again, with an OBD2 scanner, you can pull the codes. The fuel pump itself might actually trigger a code depending on the year, make, and model of your vehicle. It's possible that the car's computer, the ECU, DME, or PCM will pick up on the fact that the fuel pump isn't sending the proper amount of fuel flow or something shorting out, it's not getting appropriate voltage, whatever the issue is. Oftentimes that can be picked up by the computer as well, which can also trigger a check engine light. But ultimately, if you have misfires, especially across multiple cylinders, a flashing check engine light or a steady check engine light, use an OBD2 scanner, read the codes, see what the codes are, and that will often point you in the right direction and tell you if it is indeed the fuel pump that is failing or having issues. Moving on to symptom number four of a failing fuel pump, 
we have a long cranking or no start conditions. So ultimately, if the fuel pump isn't providing proper fuel flow and maintaining proper fuel pressures in the fuel lines and rails, you can start getting issues with long cranking. So instead of the car firing up right away, it might crank for five, 10, 15 seconds before the vehicle actually fires up. And that's because that faulty fuel pump is just taking a little bit longer to build the necessary pressure in the fuel system to actually inject the fuel into the engine and be able to start the vehicle. So if you're noticing those long cranks, definitely a common and one of the most popular symptoms of a faulty or failing fuel pump. And going to the next extreme, the engine might not even start with a fuel pump failure, depending on how bad the issue or the failure is, it's possible it's just not sending enough fuel to even get the engine to crank over at all. And so that's another thing to be on the lookout for now. The one thing to mention with the engine not starting, that's usually a later stage symptom. It's pretty common for fuel pumps to fail slowly or fail over the course of a few weeks or a few months even. And so often it will start off with more modest symptoms, like again, the long engine cranking, where the fuel pump can still supply the necessary pressure. It's just taking a little bit longer for the pump to get going. And then ultimately, as the fuel pump failure becomes worse and worse, that's when you can start to end up in situations where the engine won't start at all just because it can't supply enough enough fuel pressure and enough fuel flow to actually crank the engine over. Tying into that with symptom number five, we have engine stalling. Now again, this is something that's typically a later stage sign of fuel pump failure. Often when it first starts failing, you have those slightly weak fuel pressures. It's kind of slowly on its way out. So that's usually how the fuel pump failure begins is slowly. And, and so it's rare to run into any engine stalling issues early on with a faulty fuel pump. However, as the problems become worse and worse, or if you have a more drastic and severe fuel pump failure, then you certainly can run into issues with engine stalling, and that's just where the fuel pump can't supply enough fuel and enough fuel pressure to keep the engine running. And so that does require a pretty significant drop in fuel pressure, and that's why it's usually a later stage symptom and a sign that the fuel pump is, is probably on its very last leg if you do run into that engine stalling. Symptom number six of fuel pump failure, we have weird or no noises from the fuel pump. In most vehicles, you just have a low pressure fuel pump that sits around the fuel tank, and that's what's actually sending the, the fuel from the tank up to the engine. And so it's normal on a lot of cars, when you unlock the doors or put the key in the ignition, the fuel pump will begin priming and start to build some of that pressure so that the engine can crank up quick quickly and easily. And so it's normal to hear a slight whirring sound coming from the fuel pump as it primes and starts building that fuel pressure and sending fuel throughout the lines. So you should hear that, that noise again, either when unlocking the vehicle or turning the ignition, depending on what car you have. And so that is normal. Now on some cars, it is quiet. It can be hard to pick up on, but if you usually do hear a little whirring sound in that situation and suddenly that's gone, that could be a sign of a fuel pump problem, or if the sound has gotten unusually loud, or it's kind of changed from that whirring noise into more of a whining noise, then that's another sign that your fuel pump could be on its way out. The specific sounds and specific situations depend on each specific car, model, engine, and so it's hard to put this into exact words, but Ultimately, just pay attention to the sounds coming from that fuel pump and the fuel tank area. Anyway, that wraps up the most common signs and symptoms of fuel pump failure for this video. Ultimately, in summary, what usually happens with fuel pump failure is when the fuel pump does begin failing and running into problems, really the biggest thing that happens is the pump is unable to keep up with fuel flow demands. And so you start receiving a lack of fuel flow or inconsistent fuel flow to the engine. And that's often what results in all of these symptoms that we've talked about. Again, in most cases, it's really that lack of fuel flow and that inconsistent fuel flow that can cause varying symptoms ranging from the stuttering, hesitation, power loss, engine stalling, long cranking, and noticing weird sounds weird noises coming from the fuel pump. It really all boils down to that improper fuel flow. So if you're noticing all of these symptoms, then it's definitely time to start digging into things a little bit further, tracking down the issues. Ultimately, an OBD2 scanner is going to be one of the most helpful tools in tracking down fuel pump issues if you don't have access to more advanced tools and software where you could actually read the fuel pump pressures and other signals from the fuel pump and sensors in the engine. An OBD2 scanner is really going to be your best bet for tracking down any potential fuel pump problems. Simply plug that into the OBD2 port scan for any codes that are stored in the vehicle's computer. And again, that's where you might be receiving codes ranging from 
things directly related to the fuel pump or again things like engine misfires especially multiple misfires across different cylinders so really that obd2 scanner is going to be one of the most helpful tools in diagnosing and tracking down the issues and pointing you to the fuel pump problem if that is the issue at hand anyway guys that wraps up our video for today if you appreciated the content please hit that like button subscribe to the channel and check out the description below for more awesome content thanks guys